My name is Austin Dove. I am a radiation oncologist here with Tennessee Oncology at Erlanger. I focus primarily not only on treating cancer, but also in uh, specializing in the treatment of radiation for benign disease. So osteoarthritis is the most common form of arthritis, uh, affecting over 32 million Americans. It commonly presents with joint stiffness, pain, and sometimes immobility. So common treatment options for osteoarthritis include conservative management with either weight loss, physical rehab, or moderate physical activity. Other treatment options include medications such as NSAIDs or Tylenol, and also could include um, other interventional procedures such as joint injections with steroids or even procedures on joints such as joint replacements. So the use of radiation therapy in osteoarthritis is actually not a new treatment. It's a treatment that's been used worldwide for several decades now, specifically in countries such as Germany where over 30,000 patients are treated each year. One unique thing about radiation is it's a non-invasive procedure. And for the use of radiation in osteoarthritis, it typically is at very low doses where Usually for cancer treatments, we use radiation doses that are on the order of 10 to 20 times uh, more. Whereas with osteoarthritis, radiation is um, very low dose, so we typically see very few side effects related to treatment. I think this is an important treatment to offer patients who are potentially interested in a less aggressive treatment. Studies have shown that patients who undergo low-dose radiation for osteoarthritis have about a 70% chance of significant pain reduction. And of those patients who respond, about 80% will have significant relief for up to two years. The ideal candidate for someone who would benefit from low-dose radiation from osteoarthritis is someone who's interested in potentially less aggressive treatment options particularly those patients who are interested in either avoiding a surgical procedure, such as a joint replacement, or who have contraindications to certain medications, meaning that they're not able to take certain medications due to certain medical conditions. So the process of beginning radiation therapy for osteoarthritis starts with initial consultation, which at that time we will talk in detail about the logistics and the process of undergoing radiation treatment. We'll also briefly talk about the side effects and answer any questions that a patient might have regarding the treatment. Following that step, we will schedule a CT scan in which we will design our radiation treatment. And we typically will start our treatment about a week after. Each treatment session takes about 20 minutes. The large majority of that time is setting the patient up in the treatment position, followed by us turning on the treatment machine. Radiation is invisible, so you won't feel anything, see anything, and it doesn't hurt. You're awake the whole time, and you're not radioactive following completion of treatment. Radiation is given every other day, typically on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, for a total of two weeks. If a patient's interested in undergoing treatment for osteoarthritis uh, with low-dose radiation, they can contact either their primary care provider or their sports medicine or orthopedic doctor to ask for a referral to our department in radiation oncology here at Erlanger.